Hey, what's up, nature freaks? What's going on? Dave and Jeremy here. Now, as you guys know, we love to visit the desert. We've highlighted a lot of reptiles in some of our recent episodes. But what a lot of people don't realize is there's a lot of mammal species that also can survive and have adapted to desert living. Yeah, today we're going to be talking about one of those, say, Hola to Javier. What's up, Javier? Hola, David. <laughs> so, this is an actual skull of a <laughs> javelina. Yeah, it, it does smell bad. <laughs> uh, so, this is a, a young one, but the javelina, they, they look like pigs running around the desert or a wild boar, but they're actually in a different family. And so, we're, today we're going to be discussing the differences between the two and just why they're so cool. Yeah, we were able to get super close to these guys last time we were in Arizona. So, let's not waste any time. Let's get as close as we can to the javelina in the desert. Whee! Nature in your face! Standing around two feet tall and weighing 40 to 80 pounds, javelinas may look like a type of wild pig, but they are not. They are actually members of a group of hooved mammals known as peccaries. This list shows the many differences between pigs and peccaries that separate the two families. Sometimes referred to as skunk pigs, javelinas are often smelled before they are seen. A small scent gland located on the rump emits a pungent odor, which is used to mark not only their territory, but each other. By rubbing the odor on one another, they can easily identify members of the herd. The javelina have several adaptations that allow them to survive the harsh climate of the desert. To deal with the intense heat, they lack fur and instead are covered with long, coarse hairs. On cooler nights, the herd will pile on top of each other to conserve heat like pigs in a blanket. During the dry season when water is scarce, the javelinas must rely on the prickly pear cactus, which grows in abundance and provides the animals with plenty of hydration. Like deer, javelina will forage along busy roadways and can pose a threat to humans when darting into traffic. Unfortunately, this can lead to fatalities for both javelinas and humans. Oh, javelina, javelina oh, yeah, right yeah, yeah, I see it, I see it. There's two of them. Ha. Oh yeah, that's a big one, that first one. Looks pretty good, that's a big one. Get out of the road, buddy, get out of the road. You know what they refer to this as, don't you? What? A fork in the road. <laughs> get out of my car. <laughs> Well, you never do know what you're going to find on the road here. This is a javelina, and it probably just got hit a couple hours ago because I passed this area earlier and it was not here. So, man. Yep. He's still fresh. Fresh little piggy. We were staying in a camper in the middle of nowhere and as we were cooking breakfast, we heard something rustling around outside. A small group of javelinas, likely attracted by the scent of food, began to congregate in front of our camper. The javelinas were weary but continued to cautiously approach us as more began to show up. Although not typically aggressive, they are known to attack if they feel threatened. All right, so we just got a big group of javelina creeping in on us and we're just sitting here not moving and they see, they don't seem to mind us their eyesight is poor so they can't really they're like the t-rex if we just don't move they're not sure where we're at yeah but their sense of smell and hearing is awesome and i think they're here because we just made some toast and some breakfast and they smell it and they're moving in they also eat this bird seed up here. Javelinas are not exactly fussy eaters. With the help of their flexible snouts, they will dig and root through the soil in search of succulent plants, seeds, bulbs, beans, tubers, and grubs. They will often move through residential neighborhoods under the cover of darkness, tearing through garbage in search of scraps or destroying gardens, leaving nothing but hoof prints in their wake. Javelinas are also very well camouflaged. You likely would have never noticed this one if it hadn't moved. And we have been startled on multiple occasions by the sudden explosive movement as they scurried through the brush while we were hiking. Intent on getting a closer look at the javelina, we set up an action cam close to the ground near a bird feeder that the javelinas had been attracted to. We thought they'd ignore the camera, but instead 
They curiously sniffed at it and at one point even began to chew on it. As the morning came to an end and the temperature began to climb, the javelinas moved off to seek shelter from the midday heat, and for us, being able to get up close and personal with the javelinas was another incredible experience. And these little piggies went wee 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 all the way home. Little big little 